What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your review of Sisters Season 1, Episode 11. Look, I don't, I, I don't have a whole lot of energy for this episode, for this season. Look. The episode starts off where we left off last week with all the girls sitting around with the pictures trying to figure out who all these different women are. Danny confirms that the woman that she saw at the airport was not his um, wife. Danny and Karen are still bickering, going back and forth. Andy said, look, if you ain't here for me, then get the fuck out. If y'all are not here to give me the moral support that I need and to have my back and be my sisters, then right now, I don't need you here. And then Karen and Danny kept going back and forth. They kept bickering. They kept bickering. They agreed that they would, that they would stop for the sake of helping Andy. And just as they started kind of coming to an agreement that they were going to stop beefing with each other, there's a key in the door. Who come walking through the damn door is Gary. Gary, did she or did she not tell you to stay away, go home, make nice with your wife because this is what she needed you to do for her? Oh, no. You couldn't stay away. And you're coming through, probably walk through the damn front door because you don't give a damn. So then, of course, all of the women were like, yo, what are you doing here? Now, Andy, she got her back to him. She still got tears in her eyes and everything. And Danny didn't pull, um, mm -mm. let me make sure I'm saying these names right. Danny ended up pulling a knife on the man because they were trying to tell him, get out, leave, get out, get out, leave, 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 get out, get out, leave. He was just like, why? What's going on? What's wrong? Andy, what's the problem? I want to talk to my woman. Boo, baby. They was like, boo, baby. So they was doing the most. I mean, they were, let me say this. They were right, okay? Everything they did is everything I expect my girls to do when I'm in that same situation. So Andy was like, look, I got this, y'all. Let me talk to him. So she sends the girls into the bedroom while she talks to old boy. Now, at first, the girls are giving her that side eye, like, what the hell is going on? What are you talking about? Like, what is the, what is good? But then Karen seems to remember some situation that they had in college, Operation Omega. I don't know what it was. I guess they'll explain it later. But basically, it's when they, I guess, had a situation with a dude and they flipped the script on him. So once she said that, they all knew what it was and they were like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, basically, what Andy was doing was playing nice and trying to figure out Basically, get information out of him. and but, we, but what we realized was, at the end of the day, he really don't care about helping Andy out. He talking about something he never even went back home. He checked into a hotel. I don't want to be home. I can't do that. And Andy was like, but that's what I needed you to do for me. Like, you, I'm in this compromising position. I told you my situation. I told you how this could cost me my law license. And all I asked you to do, I've been I've been holding on for the last however many months while you went home to your wife every night after leaving my bed. And the day I tell you to go home to your wife after leaving my bed is the day you can't do it. So Andy then realizes that this dude really don't mean me no harm. Like he really is here just to set me up. This is some 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 old some fugazi situation, right? So she finally gets him, because they, they try to get him to leave his key and everything. She lets the dude leave, and then she ends up going back and talking to the girls, right? They have a little wait and exhale sister moment with the wine, and they talk about how horrible men are. Why do men do this to us? Why do men treat us this way? Why, 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 why? Then they start comparing those on whose life is the worst and whose man situation is worse than the last. Well, you know who won that one. Sabrina won, because she told them about the fact that old boy put a dildo up his butt. She said he put it up so far, she couldn't find it. They were like, yep, you win. But what we did find out is... Danny did admit that the reason why she always broke is because she always giving dudes money. And she always puts herself in compromising positions trying to, you know, be be that chick or whatever. Her and Karen make up. Karen apologizes. She said, you're right. I do talk too harsh. I don't know how to, you know, control my mouth. The things that come out of my mouth, I do, you know, I do talk sideways. So then they make up. They hugging it out or whatever. So then, um... Danny going to throw out there, well, yeah, you know, I slept with Zach. So, of course, now the whole conversation is like, uh -huh. you did what? And they ready to straight up, you know, fight her or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, they really pissed off about it, as they should be. See, here's the thing. And I've been telling y'all this from the beginning. 
I did not agree with this whole Danny situation storyline and her playing victim from day one. You're not a victim. You are crass. You are disrespectful. You do say shit at the wrong time in the wrong place and around the wrong stuff. You are always broke. You are ghetto, hood, and loud. And they have told you that. Even in this situation, her and Karen keep going back and forth because Karen is telling her the truth. Karen is giving it to her straight, no chaser, and she can't handle it. So again, I'm still not understanding what Danny was in her feelings about. But whatever. She tells him she slept with Zach. And of course, they are all responding the way anybody would respond when you said you slept with your with your with your best friend's man. And she goes and say, "Look, look at the video. Look at the video." Come to find out, she didn't videotape him talking about how much he loves her and how that other woman didn't mean nothing to her. And so, of course, they were all like, "Oh, well, we're sorry, Danny. We didn't, you know." We she said, "Yeah, how could you think I would sleep with my best friend's man?" Cause you said it. Because you said it multiple times. So anyway, then they decided they about to be on a mission to ruin Gary's life. Because, of course, they like, she, you know, he played you. We got to get revenge. Boom. So there's that. Danny goes home. Zach is there finishing packing up. He's like, I'm gone. She's like, okay, bye. Um... She said, I told, you know, Karen and the girls about us uh, sleeping together. He was like, you did what? She was like, yep, and I showed him the video. You need to look at the video. I'm not going to look at the video. You need to look at the video. I'm not going to look at the video. All right, I think you should look at the video. What is wrong with you? Why do you want me to look at this damn video? I feel the same way. Like, at a certain point, just tell the man what's up. Like, just, yeah. Then he's getting ready to leave. Who's at the door? It's Karen. So I mean Sabrina. So now he I mean Karen. So now he think he really about to get it. He like, Lord. He was like, All right, go ahead. Cuss me out. Say what you gotta say. Do what you gotta do. And she was like, I want us to see if we can work this out. He was like, what? You know I just you know I slept with your girl, right? She was like, <sighs> and she gonna look at Sabrina like I mean look at Danny like he still think he slept, you know. She said, look, I'll explain. I'll explain everything when we get home. Just come home with me. And he was like, what? So now he's thinking, okay, I have truly stepped into the, to the Twilight Zone because she want me to come home with her. She and then she, it, she was joking, talking about some. Yeah, she, she decided we could share you. Like, all this crazy stuff. They riding home. He's telling her how much he loved her and how he's sorry that he ever did anything. And he ain't going to never make that mistake again. And he's going to cherish her. And she was like, don't, you know, never say never. You might not mean to hurt me, but you might hurt me. He was like, I know, but you know, I don't ever want to hurt you. Oh, Lord, did I just break my necklace? Oh, no, the thing. She was like, um, I know, but I don't ever want to hurt, you know, want to hurt you. I want us to work this out. I want to do better. I want to make more money. I want to help pay the bills. And then he said the shit that pissed me off. But you know where I come from. What they got to do with paying bills? I don't care where you come from. Paying bills is paying bills. And understanding that you need to pay bills to make a household work. That's like, what? Okay. All right, then. Fine. Whatever. And then he tells her to pull over. I ain't pulling over. Pull over, girl. Pull over for what? But she pulls over. He was like, I see you pulled over. He, she said, we almost home. I know, but I can't wait. And then they end up having sex in the back seat of the truck. Okay. Next day, Sabrina goes to work and she's talking to Marcus. Marcus was like, so what's up? Um, how did everything go last night? She said everything went well. He was like, so what's up? Did y'all, you know, um... You know, I talked to the old boy. He told me what went down. She was like, what? She was like, so y'all was just gossiping like a bunch of women? Marcus was like, what's that supposed to mean? She was like, I mean, why would he tell you that we had sex? Marcus was like, oh, he didn't, but you just did. She said, oh. So you know she went on and ended up telling Marcus about the whole dildo thing. Look, y'all, I'm not doing this. I'm not, dwell I'm not dwelling on this. So then Marcus was like, well, look, 
why are you still tripping? Like, are we still really about to go through this? Like, is this still a problem for you? And she was like, yeah, like, I really got to get used to Like, I've never been with a man like him before. Like, I really got to get used to this. He said, well, look, I have a friend that's bisexual. You can invite him over. She was like, and do what? I mean, see if he's interested in a threesome. Yeah, because just like all gay men are attracted to all men and all, you know, um, uh, gay women are attracted to all women, of course all bisexual men and or women want to have a threesome because that's how that works, right? Just... Moving on. Andy's at work waiting to hear from old boy's wife. She ain't hear from him. Next thing you know... There, she's there with the, the private eye. She comes in. She sits down. Danny trying to play nice. Hey, how you doing? Would you like something to drink? How you feeling today? And she looks Danny straight in her face. And she like, so you the bitch that's been fucking my, my husband. And that's where it ends. Y'all, that's all I got. Let me know what y'all think. Drop it in them comments. Peace.